Hey guys, Tilla here, MinimalistSurvival.com. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to do an etch on steel. You don't want to do an etch on steel if you're a knife maker, gun maker, or if you just want to put your logo or initials on something to deter theft or whatever, lay claim to it somehow. All you'll need to do this is regular white distilled vinegar, just some salt. What I've used for this demonstration is just some electrical tape, something to cut it with, obviously. Q-tip and uh, a bowl to put your solution in and something to actually uh, etch. So uh, you'll just use a regular 12 volt battery charger. All you'll need is something low amperage. This is just a guest 6 amp. Um, 6 is pretty high actually too. You don't need that much. You can do just a little battery maintainer, something around the 2 amp range. But let's get started. I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is just take the positive end of the charger and just clip it to the steel. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your Q-tip and you're going to just dip it in the solution of white vinegar and salt. I didn't measure anything. I just put a splash of vinegar in a bowl and put some salt in it and stirred it up. So it's not an exact science here. You just want it wet it evenly. You want to get rid of any excess because you don't want it to drip or run or get it all over the, the blade. You want to keep it pretty local. So. What you'll do is you'll plug the charger in and then you're going to clip the negative side of the charger to the wet side of the Q-tip itself. And then all you're going to do is just nice and evenly just go over your area that you want etched. You'll hear it start to sizzle and it'll steam a little bit and that's a good thing. It'll let you know it's all working. The longer you do it, the deeper your etch will be. But you're actually basically burning away material. All right, let's take a look. All right, guys, there you have it. Looks like a good etch. That thing's in there permanent. Obviously, it'll never come out. So that's how easy it is to do an etch on steel. Thanks for watching, guys. Jay Dilla signing out, minimalsurvival.com.